Hello and welcome to Dwarf Fortress. I am Twisted Logic, and in this episode, I'm going to be looking at um, FPS calculation and graphical FPS. In the Lazy Noob Pack on the Advanced tab, you can turn the FPS counter on and off by clicking this right here. In the top of the screen here, it'll display the FPS if you turn it on here. In this episode, I did many tests. Um, that changes, um, the only changes that were made are these two numbers here. So this was a RAM stability test I was doing for work um, in 2018 on a Threadripper 2990. The RAM frequency again was 3600 megahertz um, and 700 years took about an hour and 20. The OS was server 2016 and you know keep in mind that the um, it's a single thread program so whatever the multi-core um, processing of your CPU that you get for Dwarf Fortress is it's going to be single thread speed only multi-thread doesn't matter at all but I think my my hypothesis is that memory speed does make a difference so if you have a um, one of these CPUs here and you were you were doing the same test as me but your your memory speed here was um, let's say 2400 megahertz I think that it's going to take a lot longer than an hour and 20 minutes to run this test I'm not 100% sure on that that's just a theory of mine I think the main things are single thread but that the most secondary next thing is going to be RAM speed even though I have um, RAM that will allow over 4000 megahertz in my PC um, the motherboard limitation right now, I can't get it over that. I, I'm, I'm waiting for a firmware update. I don't know if it'll come ever to see. I'll probably end up checking that eventually. Yeah, and this guy uh, <laughs> seems like he outfitted a lot more with an F1 engine for testing. Yeah. <laughs> so I loaded into the game with a calculation of uh, one FPS and a graphical one FPS. The defaults are 150. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe for more videos. So right now it's actually pretty slow to actually click into the game. That's because of the graphical uh, FPS. So I'm following Zulbin here. He's gonna pull the lever. And when he gets to this designation um, right here, he's 60 tiles away from the lever and I'm gonna start the um, stopwatch. This fortress is a little bit old. It's got 141 dwarves currently. The computer I'm running is a um, is on the X470 chipset, and it has a AMD Ryzen 7 2700 CPU that's running at 3.7 gigahertz. The RAM is. Um, running at 3458 megahertz and the SSD is an M.2 using the PCI Express Ultra um, there we go start the timer which gives me a data transfer of 32 gigabytes per second I should have marked the halfway point But we're going to see how long it takes him to get up to that lever. 30 seconds so far. 3 minutes and 5 seconds. So I'm going to completely close out of the game. I'm over here on the Dwarf Fortress wiki page for maximizing frame rate. And if I come down a little bit in this article. Um, it's going to tell me about all the different things that you can do to maximize the frame rate. As far as um, flowing water, animals, um, pathfinding, um, traffic design, uh, contaminants, all this. Um, training your military can cause a lag, uh, mostly due to sparring. But what, what I'm looking at right here is the game settings. Because um, it seems like if I go to the, if I pull up the Lazy Noob Pack here, so I'm on the advanced tab of Lazy Noob Pack and I set my calculation FPS to 1000 and graphical to 10 and I did some timing 
and the calculation right now is double default so it's 200 in the calculation and 100 in graphical 22.13 so that's just a few milliseconds faster okay this is um, 600 300 okay so 600 300 I got 22 about 22 seconds again so this is right now it's set to 1000 calculation and 500 graphical and I turn the FPS counter on here but it looks like it's Looks like it's default into 2020. Interesting. Seems like it's getting, uh, once I start the timer, the uh, FPS stops really. Goes down pretty slowly. 24, 23, 22. Okay, this time I'm doing the stopwatch on my phone. Hmm. Yeah, FPS dropped to 22 again. Just, things start running a little bit. Okay, so that took 18 seconds there. That was um, 1,000 calculation to 10 graphicals. Now, it doesn't seem to be going up that high though. If I pause the game, it's gonna go up to 1,000. That's gonna be capped at 10 right there. This is a 10 to one ratio, so these numbers are um, 500 calculation and um, 50 in the graphical although it's only getting to 23 graphical so we're gonna see if this is 22 seconds um, then there there my cap might be 24 here yeah 22 seconds so it looks like it looks like I need to pick a now this may be different on um, this may be different on your computer. Okay, we're following Zulbin again. This is a 25 to 1 ratio, so I have um, graphics capped at 20 and the calculation at 500. Let's see how long. If it's faster than 22 seconds, then that's good. Okay. Not bad. Twenty one. That may be it's gonna be plus or minus because of my reaction speed too. This ratio is twenty six point three and um, it may have something to do with my reaction speed. I'm not sure. Or twenty two. Yeah, it may actually have nothing to do with a uh, ratio at all. It may just be the graphical setting here. Okay, so this is a 50 to 1 ratio. So I have the FPS graphical capped at 10. And the calculation is 50, I believe. If this is 18 seconds, then it's going to be the same as um, the other ratio. Okay, so 19. So it's, I mean, maybe I hit it early. Okay, so this is a 5 to 1 ratio. If this is 18 seconds, then it has nothing to do with ratios. Ratios are eliminated if this is 18 seconds. If this is faster than that, then it has everything to do with ratios. 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, same as earlier. So 
the 50 to 1 ratio and the 5 to 1 ratio didn't have any effect on it. What the most effect that I'm seeing is just the graphical um, update speed. So right now this is set to 2020, so it's a 1 to 1 ratio. Even though the ratios I don't think make a difference. Oh, this is slower. 25, 26, 27 seconds. So 2020 is not good. And both of these set to... Um, 4 nines right now. Both of these are set to 4 nines. Yeah, 22, 23 seconds. The best results I got was 1,000. Let's just test that again. Let's just test the best results I got so far again, which was 1,010. And this is the this is the best way to test these things out because if you change more than one thing at a time, like I'm changing two numbers, but it's it's the FPS that I'm changing right now. Um, Nineteen. So it's going to be plus or minus like a little bit of a fraction of this, maybe. It's going to be plus or minus my reaction speed. So. Perfect, uh, but okay. So I got flowing magma on the map here. Um, I think if I go to um, down this caldera, it might be flowing. No, this is all stable down here. I do have archery training going on, and um, I think there's only. Let me just go to my military here. Three squads. So two of the squads were training. And that does slow down the game. Pretty much everything's revealed, and if I go to the units list here, I have a decent amount on the units list. Peach faced lovebird woman. Interesting. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm starting to get a collection of uh, mega beasts. They, they are doing a lot of work storing item and pathfinding up and out of the fortress, so I'm not 100% sure where they're going right now to get all this stuff. Let's see if we can follow them. That might be like... Oh, okay. So it looks like some traders got killed out here by something. And, and we're all... All the dwarves are coming out to pick it up, so... So this fortress itself is um, somewhere around 33 or 34 years old. And um, it's 4 by 3 tiles up from the Embark. So with all this work going on in the fortress, and the only thing that was changed was the um, calculation FPS and the graphical FPS, So maybe when when all those maybe when all this work gets done in the fortress when everything's sorted here, um, there was a trade caravan on, at the top of the map that was attacked. So everybody's kind of going to the edge of the map, grabbing stuff and bringing it into the fortress right now. So maybe when there's a lot less Id when we have a lot more idlers and a lot less stuff going on in the fortress, it may it may improve above. Okay, so I'm going to go to my units list here. Um, everybody is working, and they have been. I've just been reloading the same game, but I don't really have that much pets and livestock. If your pets and livestock list grows um, pretty big, then that can really slow down your game. Uh, usually when I'm starting to look at a fortress that is um, starting to slow down a lot, uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll just... Uh, Start killing a lot of the um, pets and livestock. 20, uh, what, I'm just gonna set this to like back to default, I guess. 
50 to, 50 to 100 is back to default. Um, it's because I think the game runs pretty smooth for me. Most of the time, when this fortress starts getting overwhelmed with um, items, I have an Atom Smasher somewhere around here. Yeah, I got an Atom Smasher here, and... Um, I do use it pretty frequently when I when I dug out all this stone in the new areas. Like there's a lot dug out on in this map right here, but at the same time, I did destroy a lot of stone. And there's fire on the map now, but the fire wasn't there before. While while he was running, there was no fire. So how fast the game runs, and then how fast the game visually updates. Lower volume may give small boost. Yeah, but it'd be less responsive. That's exactly the result they got. It gave me a tiny boost that was, I thought, was negligible, and um, it was a little bit less responsive. Yeah. Um, if you're running on a netbook or something like that, then you may want to turn your uh, graphical calculation down. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more videos.